to it. All right, so I watched the first episode of Marvel's What If, and I gotta say, it actually wasn't bad. Like, how do I say this? It wasn't a bad episode. I was expecting a lot of feminine wokeness from this first episode, and guess what? We got a bunch of feminine wokeness for this episode. I mean, like, I don't know what you thought this was gonna be. It's 2021 entertainment there's always an agenda and if you think i'm lying if you've seen the episode which if you haven't i don't know why you're watching this video bro listen to me they made her she hulk i kid you not she is doing things that literally captain america couldn't even do in a male body at its peak could not do the things that she was doing from the trailers alone like in the back of my brain i knew this was gonna happen but i wanted to turn my brain off so bad i tried to enjoy this episode full heartily i enjoyed very small aspects of it like i i liked of course i liked the fight scenes it was awesome like it was really very stylized but again these are things captain america couldn't do at his peak and the serum makes you at your peak so this is stupid this is she is leaping tall buildings in a single bound. I kid you not. She literally leaps. Like Backtrack, the leaper should have been leaping. This man, this woman was jumping. And again, in her suit, she looks like a man. She looks like a straight up dude. I would have thought it was Bucky's body doing all this. Because it looks like Bucky's body. Like, look at the body type. It looks like Bucky's body type. Like, what do you want from me? If not bigger. Of course, you have to destroy the feminine qualities that make her her own character. Like, I was, there were some scenes where I was thinking, they literally just gender swapped her. Like, you literally didn't change this part. It, it, the only difference is, it's a freaking woman. And not only is it a woman, it's Peggy Carter. A character who already had her own agency and who was already a badass in her own right. You didn't need to defeminize. Bro, seriously? Bro, you didn't need to defeminize Peggy Carter. It was unnecessary. Like, bro, you could have made her stronger, could have made her more badass, but you did not have to sacrifice her feminine qualities. Like, she was so smug in this episode. Like, like even Captain America wasn't smug. He was a soldier. He had a job to do. He wasn't so, oh, oh, I could do anything. Oh, I could do literally anything in the world. Like, bro, it was Captain Marvel Syndrome to the highest degree. They literally he man Steve, how could you do this to Captain America? Whether he's Captain America in the universe or not, you did not have to do this man so dirty, bro. Like, and, and you know what's funny? Like, they made some excuse like, oh, he, he's wounded. He's not going anywhere. N don't, the, wouldn't that heal him due to his super soldier, you know, healing factor you know wouldn't he be healed after the process was done it's not like he was finna die right then and there because you had time to get in there yourself so there was literally no excuse besides oh i want this like bro she seems like bro they could have done something with this and you could you could use the argument oh it was in the 1940s so all the woke messages were actually very valid see that part i understand but you know i know, I know something it's made in 2021. So you know they dialed that shit up to 11. They literally had a stubborn white dude, superior officer, doubt her abilities, even though she had the super soldier serum. And, and, literally sold the test right like, bro. And then towards the ending of the episode, bro, they literally showed this man finally coming around to her. Oh, the man made his mistake about the woman. He, he, he underestimated the strong, independent woman. And she and get this, she saved Bucky, something that Captain America couldn't do, of, of course. W way to shove that in our faces, bro. And, and we wonder, oh, just could you add a cheeky line in there with freaking Bucky's arms? Awesome. You almost ripped my arm off. It doesn't make what happened less woke. Of course, she would be able to do that. And then she manhandles men. Like, she literally has no feminine qualities anymore. She's literally just a dude. Like, bro, what? If you t take her head off and replace it with Bucky, it literally won't be any different. Like, bro, this irritates me, bro. I just want to be entertained without being hit overhead with some type of message that women can do it better than men. Like, bro, she was too strong. Like, she literally cracked the goddamn cement by punching a dude. 
I can't make this up. You've seen the episode. Like, bro, what what was the point of making her too broken? Like, there's really a hilariously freaking overpowered scene with her literally jumping, skydiving, flying around the sky, damn near flying, and, and, and breaking through, moving planes at breakneck speeds, and, and, and just doing the most. Like, dude, that was too extra. I will say the chemistry between her and Steve is still there, and they didn't bastardize it. They actually respected it wholeheartedly. It was really kind of cute, actually, you know, how they kept that dynamic going on. Honestly, though, there's very little to be entertained with this episode besides the flurry, dramatic, and all the extra, oh, she's got a sword, whatever. Anyway, that brings this video to an end. It's already over six minutes. So, yeah, let's get it. <laughs>